was going to create a situation where we would not have a legally democratic government if we don't continue. Do you think that this was accidental, it's just a mistake, she did not understand what she was doing, or this is deliberate? You know, I, I don't want to speculate, but I know that Lowingfield knows better. And Lowingfield was here and he should have stopped it. Thank you. And there's anything else more you want to see that uh, but all are taking place today in the media house? No, no, no. This was this was actually quite. This what was happening here today um, was actually quite um, disturbing because these elections were run very efficiently um, up to the time of the close of poll, the counting of the poll, um, and as we speak right now, all across the country, you have all the returning officers made their declaration except Region Four and Region Seven as we speak. And so the fact that this is happening and this, um, what happened inside, is now it was about to it was about to create confusion in the actual electoral process. Luckily, they 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 decided to review. So let me go and see what's happening. I'll call you back. All right. Thank you. Can you state your name or your position? I am Fernando Pons Canto, the ambassador of the European Union. It's going to be a, a process which was not transparent. We wanted a transparent process. That's what I, we think that also most people wanted. And now they have, they seem to have come to an agreement by which they are going to focus on the statement of of, of the of the polls, which are the documents where the votes are reflected. Do, do, do you, in your capacity, have any access to a preliminary um, statement of poll tabulation? Do you? We, the European Union has an uh, observation mission, as you probably know. They have been in uh, many, many polls. Yes, they have seen the, the statements, not in every poll, of course, not in every poll. So you place, don't have a, but a, in a final tally? We have a sample, but it is a very good sample. And uh, from this sample, of course, we know the results as they were announced. But what is really important is that those uh, statements of polls were public. So, in principle, all the party agents, no matter what party, have, have them. And they can always compare uh, the, what is announced with the polls. So what is really essential is that what is announced corresponds to the statement of polls. And we hope that after this long discussion, they have come, they have agreed uh, to, to a system that will make that happen. Okay. Just waiting on the Guiding Elections Commission to go through a process. We have the Liberty and Justice Party, the New Movement, and TCI. We have requested the statement of polls, which I think is our legal right. And when the statement of polls get here, then we are going to execute what needs to be done. Um, right now, we cannot work from a spreadsheet. I don't know that there is any version in the law for us to take secondhand information in that sense. So what we want to do is to get the SOPs and ensure that instead of having an expeditious result, that we will have results with integrity. SOPs from, from somewhere else? From Region 4. From Region 4, well, we have not been in receipt of Region 7 as yet also. So when we get Region 7 and Region 4, then we can move What is the specific issue with the counting of the, the Region 4 SOPs? Um, well, we don't know what the specific issue is with the Region 4 SOPs, but what we do know is that there is a spreadsheet that was produced and there are discrepancies between the numbers that are on those spreadsheets. Tell us about those discrepancies. Well, I, I don't have specific numbers, but there are certain, like I said, n numbers were higher and lower in some cases, and that is all I will comment higher on. Or lower Who is your alleging party? that? I, 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 will not, I will not comment parties. on that part. That is for GCOM Tell to Tell me something. Did that. the party agents collectively um, object to the spreadsheet? Uh, I know, I will not speak on behalf of the, the AP and UFC, nor the, the PBPC, but I will tell you that the new movement, TCI, and the Liberty and Justice Party have requested the SOPs. Can you say whether you can you ascertain whether Mr. Ming, the, the returning officer, has resumed duty since he was? As far as I know, I have not seen him in there, so it is it is yet to be seen. So he was actually the CEO came in, um, obviously made. They, he went through a random check as to what the what the spreadsheets would say, and I think those are those were the positions where the discrepancies came up, and then we've just decided let's get to the SOPs. Have you been told why they have cancelled the, the, the verification process? It is not cancelled. Mm -hmm. As far as we know is that GCOM, the commissioners and so on, are still meeting, 
And when they are when they've concluded that meeting, then we're going to find obviously a way forward. Do you know who is working the absence of this to meet? Who is taking I, this duty? I I just got here maybe about an hour ago. I've just been engaged in discussions with our team in there. Um, so at this point, I cannot answer that question. How confident are you that the election process so far has been fruitful? Well, I think nationally we have seen some fantastic performance in terms of what GCOM would have done and what the agents would have done. Um, it is now, but the process is not com uh, concluded yet. We are hopeful that what comes out of tonight, once again, is integrity. Um, and I've said this uh, multiple times, I'd rather have results that have the integrity and I will sacrifice experience for integrity any day because if we don't get that, what is going to happen is that we'll end up in courts for a long drawn out process which would not satisfy the country and I'm sure it would not satisfy the political party. Just in what you've learned is really you know when you need be done after the declaration is made by the RO. What's the consensus right now to go back to the ASO please? The, this is what they're deciding now. The entire consensus in the among the observers and the political parties is that you go accepting APNU. Accepting APNU. So this is this is where that where we are. And right now they're you know they're talking they're just raising the temperature of the country unnecessarily by talking about an APNU victory and they would let people down. They would let those young kids and others mislead them. So what can you tell them at this time? The uh, oh the public I'd say Stay calm, the, the GCOM should announce the results at some point in time. The key thing is that they announce verified results and, and that are done in the presence of APNU, the PBP, the international observers, everyone. And once that's done, then the country will know who won the elections um, based on official data. Parties claiming victory when they know that it's very different but just mislead people. You said you... Of, 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 of blowing field that we're party that didn't contest general election and this is reason for I'm talking about only right like this party for instance OVP did not contest in, in, in the, the general election right but they still have 255 votes right this next one here FUP did not contest the general election and they still have three votes, you know? So there is, this is only region, region four, you know? We have other things coming up on region one. We are part, get 700 and something votes, and they didn't contest in the area. So I don't know what's going on here. So we don't see a result for the near future? Huh? We don't see a result coming out very soon? Well, I don't see how the result will come out if we didn't get these things straightened out, you know? And how long, you think, how long do you think they're going, they're going to straighten this out? From, from your, from your uh, internal tabulation of the votes, do you see yourself gaining a seat? I don't know. Yeah. How things are going, I don't know. Okay. Right? All right. We, we, everything hasn't come in yet. So we, right. can't, we can't say that. It will be too early to Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Let's... ...of Region 4 and to discontinue using the list that they have. They're trying to be as transparent as possible all the SOPs for Region 4, the issue is with yes. specifically. But I want to know what they're um, counting. All the SOPs are a specific number of. They're continuing from where they stopped off. Do you know where they stopped off? 411. And do you know how many more they have after that? 300 plus, according to what was said. Nurse, do you got any indication how long that can take the process? They will be here all night. Are right. there any but issues? How long that can take the process? 
they All did not say the exact words were as soon as possible and that they're trying to do it. Um, the issue is that using the spreadsheet that they had wasn't equal with the SOPs and the numbers on it. Numbers were appearing plus 100 in favor of the current coalition, which was giving them more votes than actual voters. So that's why the process was held up until now and the decision was made to go back to the SOPs. How was that spreadsheet generated? I'm told that it came from GCOM, but I'm not blaming them for anything because I'm not at liberty to say that they did anything. So how does one know that the process early in the day was indeed and in fact accurate? Because when they compare it with the numbers on the SOP, they weren't Mr. Equal. Jack, yeah, what they told you? What's so, the decision now, sir? So the CEO just came back and they had a full meeting at the level of the commission and they agreed to go back to the process they were using where they go state all using all the statements of both. And that they will put up a screen now to see that the information from the statement of poll is properly reflected or inputted and then when they finish sub districts like Georgetown they will print it out give all with a total and give it to all the political parties for reconciliation so they would know if there is any difference in the party's numbers Timeline so you're saying they're, they're starting to work now so Mr. Lonefield said they'll work throughout the night until they complete the process so the generated list has been removed from the process yeah yes that list has been moved and, and that nobody knows where it came and so it's been removed by the commissioners but the work done previously so yes I'm satisfied with the steps that they have taken now is still until Can you can but you say if Mr. Mingo is back has been. in his position? No, Mr. Mr. Mingo, we haven't seen him there. So who will do the work? No, well they have a person acting for him. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. We I'm exiting here now because that issue has been resolved and so let the process continue and i'm sure that people and the work done previously has been authenticated the one because the work done before the 300 odd statements of poll in georgetown went through the process one by one statements of poll with everyone organized as prescribed by as prescribed by so that went went well Thank you. all right then. okay take care but the good thing is uh, they're starting it over and hopefully by tomorrow they should be done. Yeah. They're not done. I am not sure exactly where they're starting from because yeah. remember initially, initially they, they were doing it right and then when it stopped, so from wherever they stopped doing it right, they will start back from there. And um, my only concern was that this process is not a complicated process. And if the delay was happening because people were being meticulous and being careful, would it be accurate? I would say yes. But the fact that they were stopping for hours, long hours, and nothing was going on, as a citizen of Guyana,